Welcome to day 109 of our Big Cloud journey. It's getting that number getting pretty high, right? Yeah, 109. Wow. Yeah, so I mean, there's not too much news. We're entering a new week. Uh, NFTs still aren't here. You know, there was a rumor that they might come last night. They haven't. Um, but apparently, there's a preview of it available to some people because a uh, big cloud user rr hoover actually posted probably an hour before we made this video saying just saw a preview of big cloud nfts so that's interesting i mean i think it's coming it's i think it's imminent um but i don't want to you know it's hard to really guess yeah I, I mean it's it's obviously coming you can tell from the github that things are moving moving pretty rapidly, I guess you could say. Uh, some of these developers are, I think, getting some some sneak peeks. Um, I, I, I think that I, I'd be surprised if we don't see something in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, so, I mean, we know that's coming. The other news that we have is BitCloud Pulse. BitCloud Pulse has a competition going, and they're giving away $30,000 in BitCloud. Yeah, so, so BitCloud Pulse, they made a post uh, about nine hours ago, so around midnight Eastern time, and they want to give 30000 in clout away, and their rationale for giving away this amount of clout is that they feel that the BitCloud platform, the BitCloud blockchain is stronger the more distributed the clout is, which, which makes sense because this is turning into a, a proof of stake. Uh, framework for our blockchain. So the more distributed the cloud is, the better it is for the platform. So Diamond Hands actually reclouded this this post by BitCloud Pulse, and the contest started immediately at midnight, and it will run until next Sunday, the 18th. And there's three ways to win. They're going to give 10,000 away in three separate sub contests, I guess you could say, but it's all based on buying other people's creator coins. So in order to distribute more clout, both by them giving away all this money, all this clout, but also by, by implementing this contest. So you, you'll see what I'm talking about. So the first 100 users, first, not, not the first 100 users, the, the top 100 users will, will share $10,000 in clout. And the top meaning those who buy the most volume in creator coins. So for example, if you bought two clout worth of Krasenstein coin, then you have two. So, you, so your score is two. So if somebody buys a thousand clout worth of all creator coins, and they're likely going to be probably the number one, number one on this, but a hundred people will win it. So the hundred top buyers of clout over the next week are going to share in 10,000 in prizes. The next sub contest is that they're going to give away another $10,000 to split between nine people, 5,000 for first place, um, 1,000 to four people sharing second place, and 250 to the four people sharing third place. And this will be based on total buy volume. So if, if, you, if you trade at least 100 clout, so if you buy at least 100 clout, which is approximately $10,000 in creator coins, this doesn't mean you can't sell. You could buy and then sell. You will get one entry into this competition and share amongst the winners. Um, the one caveat or, or extra, I guess you could say, is that if you do these buys and sells or these buys on BitCloud polls, you'll get 1.5 times for the previous contest and you'll get an extra entry for this contest. And then finally, um, if you buy just one more clout than you sell, then you're entered into a, another contest to share another $10,000. So it, just go to the BitCloud Pulse, um, BitCloud uh, profile, and you'll see the rules. I, it's kind of confusing for me to try to explain, but $30,000, that's pretty big. Yeah, and BitCloud Pulse is a really cool training platform for those who have used it. It, it gives you graphs. You can see everybody's creative coins over time. You can kind of see, like, you, it's easy. It gives you a way to kind of see like what the value of a coin is over time. So you can be like, oh, wow, this is really, his coin value is really low compared to where it was two weeks ago. And he's still active or, you know, her coin value, it's really high. Maybe it's time that I sell it. 
because she hasn't been as active and it's really high compared to where it has been in the past. So maybe now is a good time for people to trade some inactive coins away and buy some more active creators. Maybe it's time to, you know, sell some coins that you have hold a lot of and buy some NFT artists because we know NFTs are coming to the platform. I don't know, but I, I think this, this contest that BitCraft Pulse is doing is really awesome. And I think it's kind of you know, give everybody a motivation to get back into trading creator coins again, since it has kind of died out a bit in the recent times. Well, and what that equates to is, of course, everybody gets to collect more founder awards. So if people are spying and selling more, then there's going to be more founder awards to be had by all the creators. And that's going to motivate them to be more active, I think. So like, like, like in this lull we've seen over the last like three weeks or four weeks, I think that the buy volume has certainly dried up uh, significantly, I'd say. And when that happens, the creators get less, less motivated because they see less buyers and less founder awards. So this is a great way to spur our own activity. And that's probably why Diamond Hands kind of should we share this contest? Yeah, I, I couldn't agree more. And I, I mean, I think we should all give props to Big Cloud Pulse for what they're doing. I mean, $30,000 in Big Cloud's quite a bit of money. And I mean, it's a great marketing marketing ploy, I guess you could say, but it's also doing a lot of good for the community. Right. And I, I think the final thing we want to talk about is the BitCloud price. Um, yesterday, it came really close to $100, but uh, it bounced slightly, bounced like 1%. It's 101, a little bit over 101, but there's a, actually another large bid at $100. And so now there's something like 33,000, uh, a, a bid for 33,000 at, at 100 and over, meaning $3.3 million is backing the $100 price. So, I mean, that's good news. Um, I, I, I said it before, I, I think that 100 is probably a pretty solid base, but you never know what can happen. Anybody can pull these, pull these bids and, and let it drop if, if they want. So I, I think that if we get more news, which I think we're going to be seeing, um, aside from just what the core team is working on. There's so many apps and nodes that are coming out. Like we, I literally had like six messages in my inbox today of apps and nodes that wanted us to like check out what they're working on. And they're all really awesome. So, so get excited. I, th I think, I think that this lull has kind of put some people to sleep, but I think that we're about to see a lot of innovation on this platform. Yeah, I'm excited. Oof, you scared me. You told me to get excited. Yeah, so I, I think that's probably I think that's probably it for the day. What do you think? Yeah, I think that's a good place to end off, and maybe we'll be talking about NFTs one day soon. Talk to you guys tomorrow. <laughs>